Okay, let me introduce web scraping with Arvest. So um, package Arvest uh, is kind of a play on the word of harvesting, and it's kind of all about scraping data from the web. And, uh, and you can read more about it. Um, and especially one of the important articles will be the article on selector gadget. So I have that open here, and you can follow the instructions on ins installing selector gadget and in using it. Okay, uh, now a couple things. Uh, one thing to note is Arvest is good for fairly static web pages with well defined HTML tags, but it doesn't really work um, well for sites that are ge generated via JavaScript or sites that have like infinite scroll or things like that. Uh, also, it's not going to work well if you have to be logged in to view the content. So sites like Facebook or X uh, not going to work uh, well there. Okay, um, just a very basic and brief understanding of HTML and CSS can help you understand how Arvest works um, in that a lot of web pages are mostly written up in HTML and formatting is applied by using these different tags. And to keep um, a page's format consistent, the designer will use these things called CSS classes and specify how each of those classes should be displayed. Okay? So, um, for example, a very kind of simplified version of what you might see on a page is you're going to see these different tags. So, UL is like unordered list, and list item is this. And each of these things have these different kind of classes, like this is a flat list of buttons, and um, you know you have this thing that says class comments, class share button, class save button, class hide button, and they kind of correspond to the different buttons or the different links that you can click here. Okay, um, and then if you want to select them, you can specify which class or things like that. Um, a lot of these, you also have these links like share and save and stuff. And links are done by using um, anchor tags and a tag, and then um, the the HTML referent. Uh, I'm sorry, not the H referent. Uh, the href is kind of like the the hyperlink uh, reference that um, it should go to. Okay, um, and so. This is how we're going to specify which bits of information that we want to get from the page. Okay, so selector gadget is uh, this little applet that uh, that you install to your um, web browser, and it looks at the CSS tags, and it selects all the tags on the web page that has a specific tab. Um, and the way it works is you go to the site and you click the tag that you want to capture. And then the the gadget highlights everything that it's going to capture. So um, so uh, to install Selector Gadget, first you have to kind of bring up your browser um, bookmarks bar. Um, so in Chrome or Edge or a lot of things, it's going to be Command Shift B as in um, bookmarks or Control Shift B. And then um, basically you'll take this link for Selector Gadget and you'll just drag it up to your um, browser uh, browser bookmark here okay uh, I've already um, installed it so I'm going to just go ahead and delete that all right so I'm going to go to um, the web page old.reddit.com and it just kind of has some content uh, up on there this is um, uh, what I see right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click selector gadget okay all right, so now, now it appears. The selector gadget appears here. And then as I go over the web page, uh, as I hover, you'll see these all these different kind of orange boxes. So let's say I want to um, select just kind of like the headlines um, of each of these things. So I'm going to just say I'm going to click this. And it highlights a whole bunch of stuff in yellow. So I don't actually want all of these things. I don't want um, this or this. So I'm going to. Uh, um, uncheck some of the things I don't want. So I'm going to like say I don't want that, so I click that. And now it only highlights one thing, so I do want to get this. Let's see, I don't want this. Uh, I do want this. So it's like trying to figure out 
what set um, so maybe um, yeah okay so sometimes as you're clicking sometimes you just have to kind of start over to try to get it right so let's see I want that but I don't want this this looks better this is the title tag I think I want to avoid the ads though so when I click that okay self.title let's see if we can get that in there and that in there okay so now it's um, well it seems like it's getting most of the things maybe I don't want that. <laughs> all right I'm having trouble figuring out the exact okay so maybe I'll just use title what if I undo that no nope. okay well the the path that I'm currently getting when I do this is just gonna be title so I can try selecting that I think earlier I did it um, oh here I was going for comments so here let me um, like if I want to get the number of comments I can click this I don't want any of that other stuff okay so I can do dot comments and it it selects all of the things with comments on here okay and then so um, here I can read in and I can select the comment nodes HTML nodes and then uh, in there I put dot comments in quotes there and then I'm going to extract out the text and um, and so this kind of corresponds uh, it's a little the numbers have updated a little bit but 10,241, 5,097, um, and here we have 10,233, 5,096, and so on and so forth. So these are kind of the uh, the comments that uh, that go there. Okay, so it extracts out the text there, and then from there you can then um, apply, say, like a regular expression, which um, I haven't taught you yet. But with regular expressions, you can say anything that's digits. So here we're going to extract out the digits, and we just get the numbers, and we convert them to numbers. And now, now we can uh, work with them. Okay. Um, okay. Hard for Arvis yet yeah, doesn't work with the, the JavaScript pages. Okay. So uh, if you use the title, the node, I guess dot title dot may dash blank, then um, then you're able to select basically the titles of these things. Let me see if I'm able to get it. I don't want this. So we got dot title. Uh, maybe. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. Okay, dot title dot may blank. And this will get um, get the, the, the titles uh, from each of the things. And then so here I've got, um, you know, from Arvest, we read the HTML from the website, and then we select the nodes with that, um, with the tag right here. Okay, so you just kind of highlight the tags here, you copy it, and then you put it into um, Arvest as far as which tags you want. And then you can say, extract out the text, and then we get, you know, who do you wish would run for president of the US, all right? So that's uh, right up there. AITA for slapping a teenager, that shows up there, okay? So um, so that's, you know, how you go about selecting um, tags, okay? There are other options as far as web scraping goes. Um, they are a little bit more involved, uh, but you can kind of look it up and there's, say, our Selenium, um, and then if you use Python, there's ScrapePy and Beautiful Soup, Soup, and then Selenium also works in uh, in Python as well. Okay, um, Arvest also supports automated um, uh, browsing and scraping. Um, and so what you do is you basically begin a browsing session, and you tell that browsing session to go visit a particular URL and you tell Arvis to scrape the content of that page, store it somewhere, and then um, 
Uh, and then once you get all that, that content, then you tell it to go to a new URL. You tell the session to go to a new URL, and then you scrape the content of that thing. You have it go to another URL, scrape the content, and so on and so forth. Okay? And you just kind of repeat this until you get all the content that you want. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is that uh, most websites implement some sort of protection against like uh, DDoS attacks, which um, you know happens when uh, you know all of these bots kind of just produce a ton of requests, and it can't, um, and the requests can't get through, um, and so uh, so you want to uh, avoid <clears throat> um, you want to avoid producing too many requests. Okay, so if you produce uh, too many requests, and the request is basically just any time you visit a new web page or you ask for um, you know some content there if you do that too many times then the server might detect this and then it might rate limit you and it might say like come back in an hour or something like you can't visit the website for now all right if you do it too many times then you might even get fully banned or blocked okay so one thing you want to do is you want to use this package called polite okay and polite uh, um, you know intentionally slows down your web scraping all right, and that way you avoid problems. So, because in uh, one of your upcoming homeworks, I'm going to tell you to go visit a website and scrape a whole bunch of stuff, and um, and you don't want to generate too many requests. Okay, and so the way it works is you load up Library Polite, and then you create a polite session by calling bow. Okay, you call bow, you put in the URL that you want to go to, and there, and then you store that as kind of your current session name. And then when you want to kind of scrape the content, you call scrape, you give it the session name, and then you will um, uh, do uh, select the content, the HTML, okay? Uh, I use a pipe, so I can say session name piped into scrape, um, which is, you know, equivalent, all right? And then when you want to visit a new page, you call nod, okay? And nod is going to give you, uh, you request the new URL that you want to go to, okay? and Polite is going to kind of make sure that every time it wants to request a new page with Nod, it does it kind of within the um, you know reasonable time frame, so it doesn't uh, overrun the server and get angry. Okay, let me run a little uh, demo now. So here um, I have this Arvest demo script, uh, and this is also uploaded to Canvas. And let me go ahead and uh, and run through these lines of code. So I'm going to load up the library polite. You might have to install Arvest and polite if you haven't done so already. We'll load up library Arvest. I'm also going to load up library stringer, which is used for uh, regular expressions. So um, first I'm going to start by going to this uh, IMDB page for the Lego movie. Okay, so this is the Lego movie uh, web page. And we will um, just start off by asking um, Arvest to read uh, the HTML of this thing. Okay. And it goes to the website, it reads it in, and that's going to be stored in as Lego Movie. And then, so what I want to do is from the Lego Movie, I want to select the rating. So on the Lego Movie page, uh, I want to select this IMDb rating. Let me see if I can. Uh get the selector gadget. So using selector gadget, I'm going to hover over the rating. And basically, this is the tag that I want dot C A X H H R capital I. Okay, so this is kind of generated by JavaScript, or something. So it's not like a really, uh, it's a bit of a nonsense tag, but it's it's enough to kind of identify this number. So um, I'm going to say take the Lego movie, this is the pipe, and basically it just says take the Lego movie, and from that, ask for the HTML nodes. This, all right. So if I just run these, this part, you can see it extracts those nodes from the web page. Okay. Here, um, when you say I just want the text, it's going to be give you just the text that's in between the start, opening, and closing tags. So uh, this has an opening and closing span tag. And, uh, and I can just get the text in between there and it gets out the 7.7. .7. Here it comes in as text, so it's character data. 
And here, if I say I want it as numeric, um, it'll convert that into numbers. So now we have numbers, and so I can just run that. And so rating, it gives me 7.7. So for whatever reason, on the web page, you know that this tag is duplicated, um, but but that's uh, but that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, there's other stuff we can do. Let's say I want to get um, members of the cast. Members of the cast. So we have. Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett. So here, I'm going to use Selector Gadget once again. I'm going to hover over the things I want. I want to select um, the names here. And that actually looks correct just by highlighting that. Whoops. It seems like it selected uh, the cast members um, and nothing else. Um, so Basically, the green is going to be what's what you clicked, and it's going to also select anything else that's in yellow here. So this is the tag we want, .gcqkeh. Okay, and we will use that. And so I do Lego movies, HTML nodes, .gcqkeh. All right, and it selects those tags. And these are all of the... Uh, um, basically anchor tags that it has. And here I just want the HTML text. So I'm going to um, just get the text that's within there. And we get Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, basically the names of the cast members there. All right, so that's great. So we will store that in as cast. And so I have that stored there. Uh, you can extract you know, longer things. So here is um, like the movie reviews, OK? And so, you know, again, I use selector gadget. I'm going to hover over. This is going to be the thing that I want. I really just want this one thing. So I'm going to, uh, and selecting a bunch of other stuff and that I don't want. So I'm going to just click that. And, um, and so now I just have one thing. Dot JCJWURIPCHTML. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I hear I got a different different tag when I did it. Uh, but yeah, I can run this and this is this is the review. This is I think it um, let me see if I get Lego movie and we're gonna select HTML nodes. Let me try putting in the tag that we just got there. And then let me just see what this gets. Okay. HTML text. So um, this also pulls the uh, the same thing um, here it's a slightly different review let me refresh the page and see if uh, okay okay yeah so here we go to be honest when I heard of the Lego movie I thought it to be a ridiculous idea and uh, there we go to be honest when I first heard of the Lego movie I thought it to be a ridiculous idea and so this is how you can uh, extract it and so yeah um, sometimes when you use selector gadget it will give you different tags that uh, and, and these different tags might both be able to give you the, the same kind of answer here, okay? Uh, so that's so that's fine, okay? Um, let's say we want to visit um, Chris Pratt's IMDb webpage. So I click that, okay? And so this is his... Uh, web address, okay, and so I can say, hey, we're going to go to his web address. I'm going to read the HTML there, and then let's say I want to get um, basically the the projects that he's working on, okay. So again, I would use Selector Gadget, and I'm going to hover over these projects, and um, these are the this is the tag I want: IPC metadata list summary item T. And uh, I put that in here. And so from uh, Chris Pratt's page, uh, we'll load that in. And then the, the projects that he's working on, OK, uh, we can see these are the projects he's working on. Some of them are upcoming. So if I expand that, I guess it also selected. Let me refresh this. OK, for whatever reason, my browser is not expanding this or shrinking that. It's not just not responding.
But um, but we can see, you know, we have the Garfield movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, and they kind of all uh, appear on here as well. Okay. So, um, so what I want to do now is I want to run a session that's going to visit multiple pages. And the idea here is I want to start on the Lego Movie page, and then... Uh, and then I want to visit Chris Pratt's page and download the projects he's working on. Then I want to go to Will Ferrell's page and download the projects that uh, Will Ferrell's working on, okay? And so on and so forth and do that um, for, you know, several of these cast members here, okay? So here, to do this, I'm going to start a session, all right? So my session, I'm going to just call session. And I start my session by bowing to the server, and I put in the URL that I want to start off at, which will just be the IMDB page. Okay, so I click bow. All right, I, I run that, and so now I'm uh, I'm running a session here. And then from that session, we get the content. Okay, we uh, we're going to store the page content. I'm going to run session scrape, and then we're going to get the the HTML content. So I do that. This is going to be my page content. This is basically the result. Same thing as doing like read HTML, but when you're doing a session you call scrape. So basically read HTML stores the page content and to whatever I have here and basically scrape does the same thing. And then so from page content, remember uh, what I did earlier is I get got the cast names by using the HTML nodes, HTML text here. Okay, so the HTML nodes, so I can get those same uh, tags, okay, but this time I, um, I already have the, um, so here if I do the page content and I run HTML nodes and the text, I will get the cast names, okay, but what I want is I want the web address of their page, okay, this is the web address and it's stored under href. And so you can extract out the web address and that's going to be under HTML attribute. So not just the, not the text, we want the HTML attribute. Which attribute do we want? We want the attribute for href. Okay? So I'm going to get those actor URLs. And so these URLs name/nm0695435 are now stored under actor URLs. Okay? So name nm 0694535 right there and then you know the next one so on and so forth okay for the cast we got the cast member names and what I'm going to do is I want to associate each cast member's name with their URL so I'm going to use ours um, I'm going to take cast and I'm going to assign it to the uh, as the names of the URL so the content will be the URL but the names associated with each uh, your, uh, URL will be that. So when I do this, now I have a named vector where the content is the URL, and then the uh, name of that URL is Chris Pratt. So then I, I can do actor uh, underscore URLs, square bracket, and then I can type in Chris Pratt, and I get his web address. Or I can type in Will Ferrell, and I get his address, okay? So that, that works, okay? And then now I can tell our session to go to um, Chris Pratt's page, okay? I can say session nod. What's the path that we want you to go to? We want you to go to this URL. So we're gonna do actor URLs, Chris Pratt, and then scrape that content. So that will give us Chris Chris's page content right over here. And then, um, and then again, we might want to get the projects that he's working on. So from Chris, Chris page content, we'll extract out the, that uh, you are, um, uh, what do you call it, selector gadget tag that we had earlier. And that gives us that. Okay, so uh, what I want to do, I, I want to do this for multiple actors. So I'm going to start off by uh, creating an empty list where I'm going to store my results. 
And I'm going to just do this for the first four actors. Okay, so remember cast. I have all of these things, and we're just going to do the first four. So Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett. And we're going to say um, we're going to get each actor's page content. So we're going to start our session, tell it to go to the URL with that actor name. So first we'll do it for Chris Pratt, and then we'll do it for Will Ferrell and Elizabeth Bank Banks. And remember, actor URLs um, has all of this stuff. Okay, we're going to scrape that content. Once we get that scraped content from the actor page content, we will extract out the projects that they're working on, and we'll just get the first 10, 10 of those things. Um, I also said, hey, I want to get the years uh, associated with that project, and we will do that. All right, and for each of these things, we're going to store it into um, cast movies, into double square bracket actor name, and then I'm going to, so it's going to be a list of lists. So um, each actor name will have a list with movies and years, and then also their name. So we're going to just take, uh, repeat the actor name, um, you know, however many times, and then uh, throw that in there. So this is going to be the, uh, the loop that I run. And because it's polite, it's, it'll do it a little bit slowly. Um, but this will prevent me from getting in trouble with the uh, with the website. So we'll let it run and uh, and it takes a little bit because it's doing it um, for four different pages. Um, but it will, uh, it will get there. Okay, so now it's done. And so now cast movies is kind of a is a big list, right? So it is uh, a list here. Let me just do st structure of cast movies. And so it's a list of four. The top level is the actor name, Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett. And each of those, um, each of those actors um, is a list. Each of those lists has three elements, movies, years, name, movies, years, name. Okay. So then what I want to do now to kind of combine it is I'm going to create a big list of movies, years, and names. And then so for basically for each thing in cast movies, we will get, um, I'm going to take the current movies. <laughs> this is the inefficient code, but I'm just going to duplicate it and take uh, cast movies, you know, that first one, extract out the movies and store it in there. All right. And so here we'll get now um, a list of just movies, years, and names. Okay, each one length 40, and then I can make a data frame out of it. And so there we go. Um, movies, years, name. Okay, um, and that is it for the uh, the R demo. And uh, hopefully that will be a, a handy guide uh, as you try doing some web scraping yourself in homework three.